Do you remember those old rundown motel buildings that you literally pull your car right up to the door? What if there was a massive investment opportunity inside of this untapped niche? Check it out. Real estate wholesalers, this is a pretty big opportunity and an untapped niche that most investors don't even look into. As a kid, I remember going on vacation, driving to different national parks, and my dad would pull up to these small little family owned and operated motel buildings. And at the time, I didn't really think much of it. In fact, over the past several years, even inside of the real estate investing space, Looking at these old, dingy looking hotels didn't seem like a great opportunity for me. However, tides have turned and we have a new investment group that we've partnered with and we're in the process of building out the infrastructure to take down the acquisition with some of these motels. Now what is the play here and why? Right here we have the old motel, we'll just say motel. 76 got the little lit sign on top of it office manager hanging out in the front grabbing your credit card and giving you your room key to go right down the hall to the pull-up little motel building right now most investors are not going to even look at this or entertain it as an opportunity one they don't want to deal with the infrastructure and the management of these rooms. They don't want to go through the high taxes that can be attached with these type of assets as well. So they don't really consider it as much as an opportunity. With the shifting market, Airbnbs are on the rise. Well, so are short term rentals or extended stays. Now, why is this strategic? Think of it like this. A hotel is classified as a certain type of asset class. Therefore, it can only be fitting to house individuals on whatever basis that's fitting, right? So instead of giving a annual lease, which most governing entities would not allow inside of this model, this very motel could be positioned as an extended stay. Now we all know those extended stays, right? You could pay by the week, you know, could pay by the month, but whatever the case might be, with the right infrastructure in place, we can take the extended stay model and start to bring in some tenants who will pay, we'll say anywhere between 250 to 350 per week to live in some of these extended stay units. Now most investors just breeze over it and are sleeping on this opportunity. But again, we have a plan and practice in place, especially in the South Carolina markets. If you're a wholesaler in South Carolina, love the opportunity to talk, partner up with you guys and see how we can turn some of these old rundown motel buildings into cash flow opportunities. Driving for dollars when you're in your route looking for distressed buildings, or you just happen to be driving down the street when you see one of these either rundown motels or building that could use some love, it's probably worth either knocking on the door, approaching that manager, because there's a good chance that the people that own these probably like to work on site. And if they don't, maybe one of the workers may be able to point you in the right direction. With that being said, it's definitely worth getting them on the phone, speaking with them, and letting them know that I'm interested in purchasing this building for cash, right? Now, the cool thing about wholesaling is you can literally wholesale anything. You can wholesale a vehicle, you can wholesale land, you can wholesale real estate, you can buy your freaking iPhone case wholesale, right? A lot of different opportunities on learning the infrastructure and strategically positioning yourself to find opportunities that most people don't know how to tap into. 
So with that said, Motel 76, you guys get on the horn and just think of creatively. Always look for opportunities. Like my life and the way that I look at things and the outside world will never be the same because of this simple fact. When I'm driving down a rural highway, my eyes are always just peeled for distressed looking houses, overgrown yards, driveways that have a bunch of leaves in them, motels that look like they could be managed or operated more efficiently, right? And I'm just always taking a note of these things when I'm in motion, when I'm in route. So pro tip, always have your phone handy. You could either have your Deal Machine app running, right? For those of you familiar with Deal Machine, simple app driving for dollars that you can ping different houses and property that stand out to you, right? Or simply take note. So with the hotels, again, just take a note, whether it be mental or open up your phone, write down the address, or just be cruising down the street with your Deal Machine app like I'll do and just ping these opportunities, build and stack your pipeline and come together with strategic partnerships that you can bring these opportunities together where we can look at it and strategically structure this thing to create a win-win situation for every party involved. Get out there guys, don't overlook these hidden gems and opportunities that are everywhere around us. Feel free to check out the links in the description I'm stoked to see you guys on the other side.